and we're live. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Sprint Tuesday. National Tuesday. Yes, that's right. It's a national pioneer. Invitational. One loft race. And remember, guys, as we always say here in Rome, the sky is the limit. Today we're shipping for the 80 mile, basically Brace Bridge, National Sprint. What's up for grabs today? Quite simple. Quite simple. You wanna know what's up for grabs? I'll tell you right now. First prize, $1,125. Second prize, $675. Third prize, $400. I believe it's $450 or $475, $450. Now, while we've tuned in, somewhere in the show, I'm going to ask somebody to give me a number. Sometime in the show, between $5 and $69, but not yet. Not yet. When I say, give me a number. When I actually say it, we're going to start the basketing off live here. You can see I got the trailer a bit closer today. Try and pick that speed up a bit. So I'm going to turn the cameras like this. We're going to go in the first three holes so you can see the birds. You don't have to worry about seeing my fugly muggly face. So make sure you got your coffee, your Bloody Mary, or your Caesar. And let's start the basketing. Good luck to all. First bird up. What time is the release, Neil? Today we're going to go for about 10.30 or 11. Should be fairly quick today. First bird up from the Humber Valley 564, Fernando Dietry with Terry. Here's old Terry again. We lightened them down a bit yesterday. They weren't responding to the feed, so we backed them off a bit. Again, after our meeting last night, I decided to go out and give them a quick feeding one can of the Versalaga. They're cleaning up quite nice. Next bird up. 792, here's Sazi. This pigeon I don't think is eating in three days. He's so horny, this cockbird. Again, we'll show some of the wings. Maybe we won't show them all today. There's Sassy, close Petzl. Who's up next? Jacob on Bloomington, Robert Simpson. Whoa, watch out for this one. He's gonna close like a freight train today. I think he's a good one. Bob Simpson, you're on, and there's your bird right there, right off the hop. There's old Jacob on Bloomington. Good morning, Rye. Good morning, Joseph. Thank you for tuning in with us. Thumbs up to everyone. Next bird up. Grandpa Loft, 9250. This could be tiny or mini or squeaky. I can't remember the name of this bird. There you go. Good luck. Let's just turn that up. The trailer's a little close today. When it's a bit close, I feel like we're right on it. Again, we're going to put 25 in each level. Next one up. VNV Loft, my man, Bill Vargaris, 2309, looking sharp. Again, they won't be as blown out, backed them off the feed. They weren't trapping worth an SHIT yesterday, just too feeling too good, feeling too strong. They're right out of feed, they're digesting fantastic. Uh, let's keep it rolling. Next one up, Close Petzl 714. Perfect day for some tequila. Here's Mr. Tequila right here. It'd be great if he ever had worms. <laughs> Perfect. I will be home for it. Get off watching the birds return. Good job. Well, good luck today, Neil. Again, Sweet Shack will not be in the competition. He is going to go on about a 10 mile hike. Good luck, Tequila and Close Petzl. What's nice today is we can get some birds in that have had a day off because of the tailwind. Oh, here's a nice one from Thunder Bay, Dan Gagoric. 
250 little chief. There's the littlest chief we've seen. Again, big shout out to Dan Gagork. Thanks for coming on the show the other day. Thanks to Dave Ottaway, Bill Wima. Coming up this week, I believe it's the man from out west, Guido Madrusen. We had some requests for old Guido. Shouldn't say old Guido, just for Guido. And uh, he's gonna come on the show, which is great. So I have your questions ready. Silver Creek, 13118. Looking good, the mealy pied from Bill. Today's going to be a nice little zinger. Northwest winds. About 10 kilometers. 10 kilometers probably don't screw me up on this, but I think I'm right. I think it's about 4 or 5 mile an hour, maybe 6. So they should come pretty good today. Uh, Calgary Boys, 82.20. Wayne B's in the house. Wayne, Wayne, and more Wayne. Watch this this red, or Mealy. He's going to be something at the end. With these wings, the back, the long cast, this is, this is going to be a 350, 400 mile pigeon. Look at the wing. Look at the step in this son of a bitch. Beautiful bird. Good luck, Wayne. Let's go today, buddy. All right. I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good. This is normally when they don't show up is when you're feeling this good. Okay, next one up, 717, close my man, Petzl. I think this is Dark Knight, I think, I don't know. It's not Beetlejuice, but we're going to see how he looks today. Good luck, close. Thanks for all your support. Congratulations on your t-shirt you won. Next one up, D and D Loft from Quebec two zero four one. Good luck, good luck, good luck <clears throat> again, guys. Looking good. We're gonna have <clears throat> Richard's birds will go up thirty minutes ahead of our own. This just gives us sort of a timing for the show. My apologies for that, guys. Richard Zonigan, you're in the house. Uh, Calgary Boys, 8201. This is Splash for Cash. Is it her day today? Look at her. She's just pipping this hen. She's blowing out, starting to again. Back that feed off. We don't want them to blow out today. Brad, thanks for tuning in, brother. Even Wayne's Little Bird's got monster wings. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this one with a bum. Nope. Gord Jarrett's next up. 7858. This pigeon got a lot of heart. Got a lot of heart. He's not the best in your hands, but he's got a hell of a lot of heart. 7858. Good luck. Let's see if we can get him with the group today. Just one for no body weight. But I've never seen heart like that in a pidge. Here's a real beaut. Tavares Family Loft, 6410. Hopefully this one isn't singing it again, Sam. That's a that's a tricky name to read on the paper. Good luck, Derek and John. Thanks for your support. We appreciate it. We appreciate everyone's support. Here we go. What's next up? Next one up. Oh, here's another beauty. From the York region, 2933. He goes a Sparky Loft. Boy, this guy's just filling out to be quite a young man, this guy. Good. I'm happy they're not. They've backed off the blowing out part. Still feel good and round. Nice monster wing again. Good luck, Sparky. Let's see if we can get you in the do re -mi today. Whoever claims Sparky's bird, you got a good chance with that one. <clears throat> Next one up, KK Kempen's Coops. Oh no, sorry. Next one up from Barry. 
82.29. This is Kit Kat. This is not Snickers. This is one of the chocolate twins. Feeling good. That beetroot stuff really works on the skin. Almost no scales on these, Pidge. Look at the monster wing on this one. Good luck today, Emily and Frank. What do we got next up here? Another Tavares 6434. John and Derek, Ian, you're in the house. Good morning, Ian. Now we got eight of you on. Okay, I need a number between five and 69. Go ahead, first one to put the number in will get that magic pigeon swag. We'll have an opportunity to win it on that spot. There is Tavares. First one up. Let's see who he's going to be between 5 and 69. Ian, you're on. Let's show you Bubbles. Bubbles, 5420. There's old Bubs. He's looking sharp. 55, that's the number, we're done. Joseph hit it. <laughs> Good job, good job. 55, you snooze, you lose, Bob. Woo! Joseph's fast with the keyboard. Will he have a fast pigeon today? We will find out. But there you go, Ian. 55 is the number, Leah. Mark that down in the logbook. Well, that, hopefully we have a first drop and we have 55. Here we go, 8202. That's Calgary boys. Wow, this pigeon's really coming out, sharp, shaping out quite nice now. Real, real nice. Good luck, Wayner. So 55 is the magic number. Again, we'll see how that rolls. Here's another Ian pigeon, 5425. This is the nine pinner. Good morning, all your work, great job, thank you. Ian, there's nine pinner, and people wanna know why do I call him the nine pinner? Look on his ninth flight. He's got another name, but I just call him the nine pin. Feeling not too bad today, Ian. Let's get her flight adjusted. Oh, oh shit, she broke this flight completely. Oh. Oh, I didn't rip the flight out, but she has a broken flight. She's going to have a little hole here. Live. No bullshit, guys. This is live. Good luck, Ian. I'm going to have to make some adjustments with that one. See what we can do. Rolling along. Next one up. Bob Simpson's. 26.59. Bird was a little bit behind the other day. Feeling good. Actually blowing out a lot more. This is baby blue, I think. So you got two in the game today. Robert Simpson, Bob Simpson. Feeling good. Nice soft silky feathers. You can hardly hold them today. And they're going to have nice tailwinds. So hopefully they come right on the line. Sparky Loft, 29-22. I think this is his junior bird. Only three juniors, or what, four juniors left in the competition? Three or four? Somebody got a little bit of blood on their foot. But anyways, not on this one. As we roll on... Handling the birds for the national sprint race today. Oh, here's a beauty. Paul Tampiampus. Joseph, is this yours? I am not sure. 20121. She looking so good today. Look at this from Paul. Paul was in the money on the last one. Let's see how he does today. 
Whoa. What are we saying here? Hang the birds every day lets you find things. Yes, 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 Mike. That's right. And again, as you adjust the feeding, you get the buoyancy down a little bit. As they're getting so turned on and horny and they don't want to come in, you got to back them back a bit. And get their appetite to build back up. But there's Paul's pigeon. Good luck today. Not blowing out, which is fine. Fine. We're not at Friday yet. We're working for Friday. Working for Friday. Friday's the day of the week where the teddy bears like to picnic. Bella, 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 Bella. Here we go. He's known as Tony Elvis. I think this is uh, the Len Briggs pigeon. 10431. I know it's bred by Tony. I think it's on Len's team. Looking good. Looking sharp today. Look at the nice shine on the feathers. Again, perfect. They're all in that same condition. Today is a nice day for an 80 mile crack. What do we got next up? I think this was last week's, or, uh, the last 80 mile toss was winner 2734, Carlos Textira. Here he goes. Good luck, Carlos. Right there, way up, way up in the wing. You see how the flights come in. Good luck, Carlos. 25, now we move down to the next level. We're moving into this level. Next kid lit up. Here we go, Bill Robertson, 2099. This is the man known as Bucko. Today could be his day. We haven't seen him fire here in a while, so let's see now. There's Bucko. Mosquitoes are good today. And on a positive note, the one Peter Coop bird that we can't ship with the bumped wing. I did basket him, let him basket to feel part of the team. He's all swollen up through here. Actually, now that I can see him in here, he hit something. See, there's a big scab. He's moving up now to the top perch. But you can see his wing. This is the wing. It's all, it's all bruised up. Give Ricky some money to buy wings. Okay, engraving hers. Best wings around, all right? I'll have to give him some of that. But Peter Koo, this is the band number 1075. He's still in the injured bay. Once he comes back around, if he does, he's going to get back on the wagon. Good luck today. He will not be in the race. Who's ever claimed him? Hey, I can't send a bird with a bummed wing. It's not fair to the pitch. So, put this crate down. Let me move him into the section when we start here the next crate. I got the next crate right here. Take two seconds. And we are back. All right, let's keep moving on. Next one up. From Aurelia, Bill Robertson, Mrs. Smoke, 2050. The birds look good shape, good luck today. Yeah, they're good, they're nice, they're buoyant, they're perfect for a tailwind day today. Remember, it's only Tuesday in the week. Good luck, Bill. Next one up, Warner Vale, 8766. This is the ladies' man, very keen yesterday, just coming after me all day. He wanted little pieces of corn. He kept begging and begging and begging. Monster wing on this cockbird. And I like this bird a lot. I just like the white flights in this wing. Very unique. Good luck, Warner. Thanks for the support, my friend. 
Woo. Everyone, take a sip of your coffee. God, I love that shit. Oh, here's another wet bean. Watch out today. 19201. He goes as the name of Mrs. Borges, Mike Pimentel. She's feeling real good today, Mike. Or Michael. Feeling real sharp, real buoyant. Good roll on her today. Let's see if we can get her up in the do re me, Michael. Thank you for your support. Away we roll. Next kid up. Oh, not him. Next one up. 10282 Ian Sybil. Right down from the S meet. <clears throat> Of stable and sons. Good luck. Well, good luck today. She got a lot of fight in her hands, Ian. Again, I'm not showing you really the underneath of them because they're not really blown out. They're all covered up. That's okay. Let's see on Friday if we can get the seed to split a bit. That's what we're gonna try for. I mean, there's no guarantees we can do it, but we're gonna try to do it. Two, 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 two. J.K. Loft. FYI, guys, you still got both birds in the competition. And if I've missed you you having both of your birds in, hey, my apologies. Or if you have your whole team left, my apologies. Tavares has his whole team left. Uh, Mike Martin has his whole team left. Uh, who else does that I know? Grandpa Loft has his whole team left. I think Troy Spencer's got his whole team left. Wow, here's one. Troy Spencer, speaking of Troy boy. 2963. Good luck, Troy. I think this is Phoenix Firestorm Shooter Pellet Gun. Maybe I'm wrong with the name. Good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Whew, let's see, what do we got next up? Here we go, Mike Van Kempen, you're up next. 20042, this is KK, the indigo that could. He just kept chugging along. Woo -hoo. <laughs> Good luck, KK. Good luck, Mike. Mike's got his full team and his daughter. They both have their full teams, good job. Nice to see Mike's daughter in the sport. A young woman, I think just under 20 years old, in the pigeons. Good job, Mike. Oh, here's one for you. 10458. Again, bred by Tony. I think this is on Len's team. Maybe I'm wrong. Looking so good. Looking so sharp. The buoyancy. This one's really blown out. Look at it. Show you when we get one, guys. Let's hope we didn't peek her for the sprint. Again, I'm just gonna add a pinch of coffee. I'm telling you that we do this shit live right on camera. Pour ourselves a drink. Thirty-four basketed so far, moving right along. We were gonna go at this one. I think she's gonna come today. The Cooper Brothers, 14807. This is Polish Bailey. She's gonna give her a rip today. She's looking good. Very active in the loft yesterday. I noticed her around. She was strutting to the cocks. Let's see if she's got the brains and the heart to do an easy tailwind today. Again, almost a nine pinner, but not a nine pinner. I think Mike Pimentel claimed that pigeon. Good luck, Mike. Well, since we're on the Culpa Brothers bandwagon, let's hit up another one. Waiting for that clock to read. 
Hold on. Sometimes if your clock doesn't read, you gotta... All right, there we go. Copra Brothers again. This is 14822, claimed by the Icorns. This guy's never made a mistake. Copra Brothers still have all of their birds in. Big monster wing, let's see how he does today. Good luck to the Copas, good luck to the Icorns, good luck to them all. Next one up, a little more war paint. Calgary Boys, Wayne Bowdwine, 8203. Looking good, looking sharp. A little bit of feed in the system. Bird did not digest. This is the only bird I've handled with any feed in them. We'll see if that plays a role today. Next one up, one that looks like the hedge, but it's not. Calgary Boys again, 82-18. Today screams this pigeon. Looking good. Good luck, Wayner. Who we got up? Oh, swoop bloop, wings of stone. Bred by Bill Wima. One three one three zero. Take a look. Looking good. Looking sharp. Look at that little white line there, eh? A real pepper this guy is. Again, he's blowing out. For a deeper pigeon, he's quite nice. Good luck to Swoop Bloop. Wings of Stone. Who do we have next here? King Kong Loft. Brad Wogan, whoa. 2082, I like the number. Boy, is she sharp this hen. Again, blowing out already. Very keen, very bright, very sharp. Nice wing. Good luck, Brad. Thanks for your support. And another, he's another guy. All of his birds still here. Calgary Boys is up again. 8227. You like a little. Dark checker war paint. This guy's got it. Walls are nice, chalky, white. That's what I mean by the war paint. Looking good, Wayner. Next one up, Peter the Koo Man Chew. One zero seven two. Bird feels perfect for today. Looking sharp, looking bright eyed, bushy tailed. Good luck, Peter. Again, the birds are going to go up between 10 30 and 11 today. They should be about an hour and a half on the wing. So if you are coming down to 2651 Bloomington, Probably want to be here for about quarter to 12. Oh, here's another nice one. One, two, five, six, one. I think this is Kern's Loft. I think this is Kern's Loft. He's another one starting to blow out early in the week. <clears throat> Look at how sharp he's looking. Super muscle on this guy. Right there. <clears throat> <clears throat> Forty-three in the clock. As we roll on. As we roll on. All right, here's one for you. Paul Tampiampus, you're back in the house. Whoa. Two zero one three five. Another one from Paul. She's looking good. She's looking sharp. Again. She's starting to blow as well. 
I've shown you the ones that are. You feel it right away when you put them right in your hands. Good luck, Paul. Who's ever claimed this one? You got yourself a good one today, I think. Small, smutty, little blue hen. I like it a lot. Next one up. Holy shit. Shit of holy. <laughs> They're from the Schwa Diggity, yes. Can you imagine living in a town called the Schwa Diggity? But he doesn't live in the Schwa. He lives in Lindsay. But he flies in the Oshawa Club, which I call that the Schwa Diggity. 20951. He's known as Mighty Mittens. A guy that's two for two. His whole team is still in the compo Titian. My man, Dave and Dan Crozier. Make sure you guys are wearing your mittens today, eh? When smoking cigarettes, you have to wear gloves. It's a rule. My mom even does it now. Right here. Up on us first. Let's see where he is. Not in the same spot. That's okay. Boy, he's looking good. Croge, he's looking good. Thanks for your support. We appreciate it. Say hi to your son. You guys got to get up here for a bloody race. All right, we're going to get this. Pigeon's not ready today. Next one up. The, the last sprint winner. I fell off on the next toss. Klaus Petzl, Beetlejuice. He came late the other day when he came. Still got a perfect body. Let's see how he fares out today. Again, he's blowing out. There's the Beetlejuice man. Good to see 11 people tuned in. If you have questions, fire them in. Fire them in. Who do we got next up? Next up, Wayne the Man, Wayne Bodwine, Calgary, 8208. I got to give Wayne a call to see when we can get him on the show. You're going to have, you guys are going to really love when Wayne comes on. Stand up guy, excellent pigeon handler, excellent multi loft racer, combine racer. And guys, their club flies a very interesting style. Well, we'll talk about that when we get Wayne on. Good luck today, Wayne. Boy, this one's feeling so good. All right, the birds had some time off. I think it just needs a little more. I think it needs, I think it needs one more day. It needs needs a day or two more. One more set of tosses. This is the Coper Brothers 14823. It will not be going today. It's coming around. It was real sharp yesterday on me. I don't want to blow it. Let me give it one more day. Sorry to the claimer. But it is what it is. The other one that's having a day off still. Got to get some better weight on him. 10462. This is Ricky's. I think this is Ricky's bitch. Not going today, we'll go on a short toss. Another one that will not be going today. I think it'll make the last one. 60528, Chris Stacy's. Again, still healing up, but not bad. We're gonna get it on a, they're gonna go on about a 10 mile toss. I'll see how they come. So now we'll go into the loft. We'll do some basketing again to show you guys how the hell we basket. Cause that's a good thing to know. How we do it, if you've never seen it, if you're new to it. For you guys who know, this is a perfect time to empty your bladders. If you've been drinking that much coffee, probably got to go to the bathroom. And now is a perfect time to do that. Again, whoa, that's, that is crazy. I just did the, like, look up my nose view. Again, you see the kids up on their perches. That's how we do it. Slide her open. Okay, pack that up there. Hey guys, you ready to roll today or what? Come on, pops. Let's see if we can get you all into one shot today. Come on, up. Come on, up. 
Really? Is this what we're going to do this morning? We're going to do some fighting, man. We're going to do some fighting. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on. Up. Come on. Up. Up. Come on. Up. Up. Come on. Up. Come on. Up. 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 Everybody's in. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go, Pops. Come on, guys. I'm not left-handed, so I gotta... Come on, let's go. That's it, guys. That's it. You got all the time in the world. Come on. Mr. Portugal, I'm not even gonna put you in the basket today because you're going on a 10-miler. For those of you who want to know who Mr. Portugal is, I'll show you him in a second. Come on. Up, 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 up. You're all in. This is when you pop your stick of juicy fruit in. The taste will move you. There's Mr. Portugal. He's going to go on a 10-miler. See you this afternoon, Neil. Good job, brother. He's staying home today. Ugh. See if we can get him in the last 80 miler. Okay. Let's put our crate in together. Boom. Boom. We're good. Again, always make your crate just a wee bit bigger. Again, there is the truckster. You can see the birds in here, no problem. George is tuned in. Thank you, George. Not sure if you guys are coming up for the race today, you and little Pete. Let me grab the basket and we keep loading. Here we go. See guys, when you load birds like that, you still handle them all. But you load them, they're calm, you're calm, everything goes better. With pigeons, like the shirt says, keep calm and race your pigeons. Holy shit, this is a weapon. I don't know whose this is. 10478. I know it was bred by Tony. Feeling so damn good today. Holy shnikes. Whoa. Good luck. 48th pigeon. Two more and then we go to the bottom crates. Next up, JK Loft. 1111. Thank you for your support again. Both of his birds still in, still playing the old game. Good luck to you. 49. One more in this crate, and we move to the bottom. Who's the lucky guy going to be? Gord Jarrett, 7857. Here you go. They're looking sharp today. Again, going to have a nice 10 kilometer northwest to north winds. Fairly fast day. They're going to come real high. Let's hope they trap good today. Sometimes you don't know when it's this fast. All right, we move to the bottom now. The kids go into the bottom. Next up, 11246. I think this is Kevin Kearns or, yeah, this is Kevin Kearns. Good job. Good luck, Kevin. That's the 51st pigeon. Next up. Oh, this one's always a bit stubborn coming in. Grandpa Loft, 9273. George and little Petey, here's your bird. This is Midget. <laughs> Full wing, though. Thin, thin bars. Really small, tiny, tiny bars. Okay, who's up next? Here 
Here we go. One one two five zero. I think this is Rudy. Holder and Hilder, I think, I think, or this is Kearns, but one of the two. Can't remember every pigeon, guys. I'm trying to. The blues are a little bit trickier, especially the big numbers. I don't know. It's easier when they have codes on the bands, but hey, I got to get better. But anyways, thank you for your help, or thank you for your support. Shouldn't say help, support. I don't know. Rolling on. Who is the next contestant up? Here we go, 27.43, Carlos the Man Textira winning some money the other day, the $100 winner. Starting to blow. Full wing on this guy. This one held the molt real good. This one came as a younger bird, so it molted a lot better. Next one up. She came late, late. The last bird on the day. She's feeling good. Let's see how she does. 2095. Sydney Lopper. Girls just want to have fun. Or she's a material girl. Small, smutty. The tailwind's going to help her out today, which is good. Going to boost up her confidence. Let's hope she can send her home. Good luck, Cindy. D and D loft. I was Dan and Davy Crozier. <clears throat> oh, this one's grunt, grunting at me. Mike Martin. One zero four zero. Mike the Iceman. <clears throat> he's one for one. I think he's one of the only guys that went one for one. Good luck to Mike. Will he be in the money today? He's feeling so damn good. Here's one for you. 5484. Watch out for this pigeon today. She's known as the Dominique. Is she the Dominator or is she the Dominique? Paul Seuss is in the loft. Take a look at this one. Woo! This God built a nice pigeon right here, guys. Strong, strong arm. Ian Sybil. Good luck today. Guys, watch out for this one. All right, next one up. Wolfman's back, back again. Now, he feels real good. He may be, <coughs> he may have made a little mistake. I think he's fine to go today. 127, Wolf Hill Loft, Wolfie. Type in your howls. Oh! Wolf emoji, wolf em up. Beetlejuice is in the race. Yes, Paul, Beetlejuice is in the race. He's going to reclaim it. He's going to go for the W today. But Wolfie's bird, you're feeling okay? No problems with you. Look at the fight in his hand. Let's just hope he made a little mistake. He didn't take any extra out, so I know he didn't fly halfway across Canada. Some birds, you get them back, and they've been on the wing for a whole day, and they actually feel like they flew 600 miles, and it takes them a long time to bounce back. Some birds, like Beetlejuice and Wolfie's bird, you can feel they made a mistake. And what did they do? They landed. You can feel it right in them. They've landed, they found some water, and they sat there, they sat there all day, and they just used their brain. They thought, 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 and then when it was time, they come. So that's that. Uh, South Shore Loft, Dave Ottaway, 20094. She was known as Miss Stubborn. Look at how nice she looks. This is Black Widow Mona Lisa, I think. I think that's the pigeon's name. She's got that Mona Lisa look to her. Good luck, Dave. We're up to 59 now in the basket. Who do we got next up? Holy shit, what a pigeon this is. 5488. Another Ian Sybil pigeon. Starting to blow. Looking sharp, 
very keen, packed with muscle. No feed. Only one pigeon's had feed in it, and that was the, 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 the creamy white thing from Wayne. Nothing. Right out. Looking sharp. Chalky white waddles. Good luck, Ian. Guys, you better have your, your game on if you're going to take Ian out today, because I'm telling you, he's feeling good. He's got something that feel real good. Uh-oh. This could be the one that's the, the eliminator of Ian. He was second on the last 80 miler from Barry, 82.30. I call him Mr. 30. He's known as Snickers. He's also known as one of the chocolate twins. This is Frank and Emily Icorn's second bird. Really starting to blow out. A deeper pigeon should do well today. Look at that monster wing. Good luck. To the icorns. Who do we got next up? From the Lakeport, that's right. 20036. This is a junior member fog. I believe there's only th four junior members left. And let's take a moment. The junior members, each combine race, eight races. The junior birds will fly for $100. The first junior bird clock will win $100, donated by Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions and the quarantine service. So, those junior birds, those four, those four are always flying for money every week. Will this be one of the winners? This is Fog Jr. Sweet Jack is one of them as well. Uh, I believe... Sparky Loft has one, and I believe Kevin Kearns has one. So let's make sure she's in the clock. She is. Good luck to Montana Van Kempen. Fog Jr. Nice pigeon, boy. This is going to be a tough one to beat. All right. Last in the crate before we do one more basketing. Warner Vale, you are up. This isn't my favorite in the hands, but she got some personality. 8770. 8770 Warner Vale. Nothing like the ladies, man. That's okay. Should have no problems today. Good luck, Warner. Nope. Into the bottom we go. 63 in the clock. I'll put the basket up. Let's grab one more group of them. Here we go. We'll take his with us. Why not? Might as well see what we do. How we do it. We don't know who's new. And I will show you guys. No BS. Hold on. Let's switch the camera. Mated pair there in the corner. Look at this guy. This is what we call super motivation. Look at this cock here. Oh. This cock right here. He's got got two hens. <laughs> there you go, guys. We're showing you how it is in a, in a one loft. This cock here is motivating two hens. What can I say? Is there ex extra motivation? All three from the red team. Good luck today. Come on, Pops. Up, 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 up. Up. Come on. Up. 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 Come on, Pops. Get in that crate now. Come on. Come on, you three little lovebirds. Let's go. Come on, let's go. You guys are all in love. You can be in the same basket together. Boy, they're not going to want to leave today. But see how when we basket them slowly, calmly, I'm in a good mood. They're in a good mood. I haven't chased anybody, scared anybody. Also, the other bird that's going to stay back, I think he needs another day off, one more day. I didn't basket him. Oh. 
There we go. Sorry, I rotated it too quick. D&D &D loft. He's still got the split on the chest. We're going to give him another day. Rather give the birds another day. Again, we got him basketed. That's how we do it. This is the last crate of pigeons, guys. Remember, all the birds that stay home will be going, except for the broken wing one, will be going on a training flight. We'll let you know how they do. Richard will take them. What? Let's see if we can do this with one shot, which we can. Here we go. We're coming out. Whoa. Look at that. Connect. There we are. We've reconnected. Hold on. That's raw. Perfect. All right. Last group of pitch. Last group. They're going in the bottom crate. I guess you guys want to see the bottom crate so there's no funny business. All right. First one up. Going, going in. This is the 64th pigeon. This is definitely one of the ones that made it on the floor. Mississauga. 7341. The Tavares team, let's see how they do. This could be deadly. Wouldn't it be something if all three Tavares come today? Good luck, Derek, John. Feeling like 42 million. Next one up, I think this is another one. 22521, Brad Wogan. King Kong's loft. There you go again. Rolling on to the next one. North South Shore Loft 20081. He goes by Dave Ottaway. He was on our show. Look at this guy. Looking sharp, man. Boy, oh boy, what a stud this pigeon is. Here we go. Make sure I scanned them. I did. When I get to the last basket, sometimes I screw up. 11 of you is for tuning in. Remember, the 55th pigeon clock today will win some swag. Here you go, guys. He was a favorite at the, at the early beginning. He's kind of tapered off. Let's see if he can get back in the game. Here's the man we know is Dart. He's had the dirt on him for a while. He's got those leather eyes. I call them leather eyes. Good luck today, Ricky Fife. Let's see what our man can do, Dart. He's starting to blow out. We scanned him in. Again. You can almost see. Looks like he's got a wet eye, but it's, it's a sear. Just wanted to show you guys that. There's the bird dart. Very buoyant today. They're gonna trap, I think, hard today. Hard is in, they're gonna come in good. I'm hoping they're gonna come. What time is the release? We're gonna go for 10.30 or 11. Ricky's just starting to load his up. Boy, Leah. Ho, ho, ho. The buoyancy, I cannot believe it in this pigeon. This gentleman's gonna be on this week, 55.89. He goes by PigeonEmpire.com, Guido Madrusen. Guido handled this bird the other day. He liked it very much. He gave it some good luck. Guido, I'm going to rub the chest just for good luck. Boy, the buoyancy, the balance in this little hen, guys. You talk about pigeons, one loft style of pigeons. This is it right here. Guys, if I could ever give you as a tip, and I'm being honest, my tip is... Send small little hens. Hens, 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 hens. Right now, the cockbirds in the loft, they're going all nuts, crazy. They want to screw everything. They want to screw my leg. They want to screw the leaves. They want to, they want to screw my chihuahua. But hens, they're calm. They look at the cocks. They come up to the cocks, and they go, oh, I love you. You're so beautiful. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. Look at that one cock. I didn't lie to you. It's got two hens. Now, both those hens are competing against each other, but they're calm competing. They're like, I'm going to get home and take my cock. Now, if we lose that cock bird, we've got another 30 that are just as nuts as he is. Think, guys. 
small hens. Just a tip. I think you're going to find out hens are the way to go. Holy shit. Holy jumping. Bot for Doma. This is my pick today. 301. He goes by Neil Gonzalez, Petey Pigeon. Oh, woo, woo. look at the back. Strong. Monster wing. What a nice pigeon. Good luck, Petey. I'm pulling for you today, my friend. Next kid lit up. Let's see, who do we got next? Oh, here's another Weppino. A Weppino from Mississauga. 7328. They go by the Tavares and son, Derek and John Tavares. Tavares, Tavares. Again, related to John Tavares of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Derek taught John how to swim. Nice pigeon again, nothing to it, complete buoyancy. We look for them to come good today. Let's hope we don't have a mass screw up, but you never know. Make sure I did scan it, 28. Yep, we did. That's why we like the camera on the basket, guys. So you see firsthand how everything goes down. Oh, next one up. Holy jumping, this is nice too. 27, 24. He goes by Carlos Dextera. He's got all his birds here. He's back. He's back. He's back. Everybody's back. Back again. Look at this one from Carlos. Blowing out. Nice pigeon. 71 on the clock now. Couple more to go. From the York region, 2962. I think this is. I think this is our, our man here, Troy Spencer. I think this is Troy. I don't think this is uh, this is Sparky. Yeah, this is Troy's. Troy boy. Troy is two for two. Good job, Troy. I like to see your videos that you're posting. Good job. Keep up the good work. Good luck today. 2962. This is Phoenix Firecat Hellraiser Storm Twister. And the last dive of the day. This is it. He punches in bunches. He's from the deep end. 73-40. Tavares. I think this is the cockbird that has all the hens wanting him. Kind of reminds me of Derek, but he's got John's eyes. This is... 7340 of Tavares family lofts or Tavares and Sons. Father and son team, good to see. We don't see a hell of a lot of that. Looking real, real good. Again, the silk, the feather, and the fight. You hold this bird, he's constantly, he's fighting you in a positive way. He's not an idiot in your hands. Look at the fight, see? I, I can't make this shit up. This is real shit. Hey, Gerard. Guys, you can probably lightly see in the background. There's a guy over there in yellow. He kind of looks like a parking sign meter guy or a children's crosswalker. That's Gerard. That's Gerard. So, 73 in the clock. I'm going to show you this before we get over. He's been scanned in. Let's take a look. Let's do the flipperoo. So... 73 have been loaded. The ones that are hold back will go for a training flight up to about Green Lane, which is about nine miles, eight miles, nine miles, whatever miles. Barbie and Gerard are all in the house. You see them there. Uh, what time is it? 7.50. We started loading at 6.54. My apologies for being a bit late. Again, we have our coffee. The sky is the limit. So the bird's going on the rip today, the training flight. It's going to be Mr. Portugal. Mr. Portugal right there. The D&D loft bird right here. 
Uh, my man, little sweet Jack. Shania's gonna go. This is Broken Wing. Broken Wing's not going. And the other three that were in the basket over here. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Uh, five. Six, seven, eight. So eight are. Here we go. I'm getting them in there. You can see how they look. We hope they come good today. From the Bracebridge area. Richard's birds will go up first. Richard's will probably go up at 10.30. Uh, Gerard's will probably go up around 10. And away we go. Ricky's got some late breads out. Again, if you see our truck on the road, honk three times, wave, pull over, and we'll take a goddamn picture with you if you want. There's the truckster on the truck. So tune in today, guys. Woo, it's a bit warm already. Definitely, though, the humidity's gone. I don't really feel it that bad. Northwest winds. We'll keep you posted. We're going to post the basketing list up. Good luck to all the 73. I'll let you know how the eight do. Ricky's going to let them out here shortly. I'm Ryan from the Pioneer. Thanks for flying with me, guys. See you in a bit. Bye.